I can't help but think his co-driver was, what, dark-haired, blue eyes before the race started, and now you're white as a ghost? No? <laughs> Mitch, I look at you, young man, and I don't see any sweat. I don't see any effort. You're not breathing heavy. You're not winded. Uh, as your co-driver laughs about that, once again, man, congratulations, back-to-back, -back, picking up right where your dad left off. Yeah, uh, it was it was rough out there. The, the the track track was definitely gnarly, um, but like I like I said in the beginning, we did our homework and came out here and knew what we had to do, and and here we are. Your your dad, I had a chance to talk to him real quick uh, before you came into Hammertown, and he's like, "I'm so glad I'm wearing dark sunglasses. I know I'm going to start crying." And uh, he didn't even care that he had a problem out there in the race course. Ended his race day early. All he cared about was watching you on the Jumbotron coming into Hammertown. Uh, what's that mean to you? And he was the first guy you saw pulling in. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. We've we've been doing this, you know, since I was since I was little out here. So uh, to ride with it, or you know, for him to win it six times now, and and ride with him multiple times, and get the win last year, and be back here now, it uh, couldn't be any better. Basically, I mean, this is a family thing for us, and I, I'm sure I have probably like a hundred people out here that are family and friends that are out here supporting me. We got the biggest crew for sure. So, well, let me interrupt you right there because this is what was happening with about 10 minutes to go in this race. They were kind of out in the middle, very close to that fire, okay? As they were watching the Jumbotron, you're getting closer to Hammertown. They're getting closer to the stage. You pull into Hammertown, they skip that, and they're down there, the whole bunch of them. And, man, they were on their feet, fists in the air, screaming for me to pull in. What does that mean to you? Not only to have your father's support, but the support of so many family and friends. Yeah, uh, racing's one thing, but having all the people behind me that, that support me and not only out here in the pits, but just, you know, camping out, having a good time with us. That's that's what racing's all about. So I like I said, I think I have the biggest crew out here and they're awesome people and let's party. I remember you. I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you when you were oh, don't say it like that. <laughs> but I remember you from trophy cart days. Did you ever dream you would be back here or here now looking back then? No, no. Uh, I mean obviously I had a dream to do it. And I, and I knew I probably could, but I mean, when we started in trophy carts back in the day, it's like, this is just, we're just having some fun out there. And then thankfully I started racing Polaris Razors and uh, thanks to them, I'm, you know, a factory driver now and this, this is what I do. So um, it means a lot to me for my family and everything to be up top here and as well as all my sponsors. I have so many amazing people that back me and uh, I'm happy to, you know, go out here and lay it all on the line and, and get it done. Well, there's always a what they call an ROI, return on investment, when it comes to business world and racing. Well, guess what? Every name on the side of this car just got 100% ROI on their efforts of supporting you. Talk about the corporate world involvement in your racing and what it took to get you here. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's just so many people, like I said, not only family and friends, but sponsors that all make this happen. I mean, we, we've been doing it for a long time now, and, and I'm thankful to be able to, you know, have all the best parts on my car to, to get me to the finish, no problem. And, and that's what we did out there. You know, we had an easy day, didn't winch, not, and, you know, just got this thing to the finish. And I, I, I don't want to forget anyone, but, you know, I got to thank Polaris Razor out there, um, uh, KMC Wheels, Walker Evans. I mean, the, the course out there, the desert section was insane. So we were battling, and, and Walker Evans Racing, I can't thank them enough for coming out here and, and getting me dialed in, Brian. And, uh, you know, four-wheel parts, the BFG tires, we didn't have one flat. Um, and there's so many. I'm sorry who I forgot, but uh, thank you to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to this young man right here. You're back-to-back, -back, reigning, and you're new. 2019 Can-Am King of the Hammers UTV champion, Mitch Guthrie, Jr. Congratulations again to Mitch Guthrie Jr. It was a hell of a race, he fought hard all day. We've got to cut quickly to some commercials. Thank you for watching the 2019 Can-Am King of the Hammers, powered by HCR. Give us the work no one